So before we move on and continue rigging the fingers, I want to spend a little bit more time to discuss an important topic in Maya that will help you in rigging. And that topic is customizing or adding custom attributes to your control objects. So let's say for instance that you want to add some new attributes here. You can see the original attributes which are located here to translate, rotate and scale and visibility. Let's say that you want to add more attributes to give the animator more control and more options to animate. So we have that option. Let me show you first how that works. So let's say for example that we are going to create a cube. Let's reshape this and resize it a bit up so it's visible and let's say for instance that we want to add a custom channel here or custom attribute that will control the position or movement across the x-axis so the way we are going to do this is by adding an attribute by hitting to the modify tab and under the attribute section let's hit the add attribute all right so once you hit that option you will get this option box here and from here what you can do is give the new attribute a name which we will call cube translate underscore x so something like that and for the make attributes here we have either keyable displayable or hidden for the displayable here we can create an attribute that will be displayable we cannot set any keyframes on that and we'll be creating some displayable attributes to organize a little bit the channel box so i'm going to show you how that works but for now we will just gonna go ahead and work with the keyable since we will be using that custom channel to animate and so we can use keys and key that of course if we want to now for the data type here we have many options to choose from the most used one here are going to be the float integer boolean and enum these four options here are the ones most often used okay in this case i'm gonna choose the float since we are going to be controlling the position the x movement of the cube which is a float channel you can see if we start moving or adjusting the translate x field you can see that the float the data of this or the data type of this translate x is a float again the float is any number with a decimal point and the integer is any number without decimal point for the boolean type here it is either gonna be false or true so just two values to work with either true or false so depending on your scenarios you may want to create some custom channels selecting from just two options either one or the other okay so this is the boolean and for the enum it is kind of like boolean but with many options so you can set many options you can see here the green blue you can set up many options and rename them as you would like okay and you will get those options to choose from but in our case we will select the flow since again we will be using that to control the translate x of our cube and the numeric attribute properties here the minimum and maximum you can have that set up to whatever value you feel fits here but in our case we are not going to set any limits to our control here so we want the animator to be free to put in any values in either the positive or the negative x the default is going to be zero to start from all right so now let's give this a name again we will call this cube underscore translate x and let's click on the ok oops i have gone ahead and add this to the cube so let me go back and do this again let's select the anim global control again this is just a demonstration 
tutorial here I'm not going to add a custom channel to translate the X cube because this is going to be meaningless but of course the custom channels is going to be very handy since we will use that and add those to the rest of our control object here to control and drive the fingers which we are going to be doing in the next lesson but before we do that let me show you how the custom channels work so we will grab the anim globe again let's head over to the modify and select add attribute let's have this rename the channel or the attribute that we want to add let's have it renamed to cube translate underscore x we will make sure that make attribute keyable selected since we want to key that if we want to the data type will select the float we don't want any minimum or maximum value set up here and we'll click on the add all right cool now how are we going to set up or connect this cube translate x here to the translate x field of the cube so how are we going to do that we have a really nice editor here in Maya that will help us link attributes together one to one and that editor is going to be located under the windows if we go under the general editors it is the connection editor this connection editor is one of the most important editors to work with in Maya and as you start learn more on Maya you will begin understand more about this connection editor and you will learn that it is very important and you will start using this connection editor more often so here's how it works we have two sections here or two columns the first column here we will use that to load an object so we will load the object that will be the parent and since we want this control here the cube translate x to drive the x field in the cube so this is going to be the driver we will load that here so we will select the animation global and let's click on the reload left here all right cool you can see that maya have gone ahead and reloaded our parent object here on the left and the driven or the child objects we will reload that here on the right so like this okay perfect now we have this button here from two this will toggle between either direction so let's say for example you want the right side here to control the left so you will switch that from the two from the from here we want the from here to control to the left but in our case since we want the global which is located here on the left to control the cube we'll switch that back to from two here is the arrow direction it shows you the direction of the control from left to right all right great now we have uh, an option here to show non keyable by default it is going to be on for the right and the left as well so this show non keyable here will go ahead and show you every channel under the objects that you have gone ahead and added to the connection editor but as you can see Maya have gone ahead and added so much attributes that have kind of cluttered our view here so we have many options that are not necessary for our purposes here we have too many options that we are not going to use and so for that let's go to the left display and uncheck show non keyable to show just the keyable parameters and let's do that here for the right side as well all right so fantastic now in this instance here what we will go ahead and do is very easy very simple to do we will select the cube translate x field which we are going to use as a driver so the cube translate x will drive the translate x parameter of the x axis of the cube and we will look we will expand the translate channel here of the cube and we will select the translate x and boom you can see that the translate x field of the cube has turned yellow which indicates the yellow color here indicates that there is a connection set up by Maya 
And so you know that there is a something here that is controlling this field, which is, of course, that Q translate X channel we created. All right. So now if we go ahead and close our connection editor window, and if we start now modifying this parameter here by middle mouse and drag, take a look, we are able now to adjust the cube translate x field with another field here. So we are able to adjust that translate x without touching the cube, which is really nice and this will serve many purposes in rigging. Again, we will use that to control the fingers of our character by putting or by adding more attributes to the wrist control. So we will use that to give us more controls in the fingers. We will use the same technique we used here. How cool is that? So we are able to control the cube with just the parameter that we have added to the global animation control. All right, very cool. And this connection in its nature is one to one connection. So the value that you put here is going to be the exact value. You can see here that we have a minus 5.5. If we go ahead and see the translate X field of the cube, it is the same parameter or the same value that is plugged in right here. So this is a one to one connection. The exact value that it is going to be plugged here, it is going to be plugged in here as well. All right, fantastic. So that was an introduction to custom channels and custom attributes in Maya. Let's use that to control the fingers of our character.